Does your Windows 10 device keep maxing out its disk usage? Well, let's get that fixed, shall we? Hey everyone, it's Josh here from Stellar, back again to help solve all your computing problems. Today, we'll be looking at multiple different ways we can resolve your 100% disk usage problems on your Windows 10 device. As always, we'll timestamp each different solution so you can head to the ones most relevant to you. Now then, let's get started. One, restart. Now, this may seem a bit obvious, but sometimes that classic switch it off and on again solution turns out to be the most effective. Now, it can vary on how you perform this task, but typically you head down to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, open up your start menu, hit the power button and select restart. Be sure you do select the restart option, as this will completely wipe your disk drive clean and give you a fresh start. This is only a short-term solution though, so if it's an issue you're constantly getting, then you will need to look at one of our more long-term fixes. Two, update Windows. Now, if this is a problem that you're getting fairly regularly, it may be worth checking to see if you have any outstanding updates on your device. Now, I know updates will typically pop up at the most inconvenient of times, but they are there for a reason, so you shouldn't wait too long to install any updates. In order to check to see if you have any updates, you must first open your Windows Settings app, which can be found in the Start menu in the corner of your device. Once opened, scroll to Update and Security, then Windows Update. This will let you know if you have any outstanding updates that need installing. And if you do, then go ahead and download them. This will hopefully improve the overall performance of your device. Three, check for malware. Now, without you knowing, there could be malware that your device has picked up that could be causing these performance spikes. Now, typically, a decent level antivirus software will pick up on these pieces of malware before they cause any damage. But as viruses are getting smarter, they're slipping through the net more often. Nothing is perfect, so it's worth forcing your antivirus package to scan your hard drive for any potential infections. Now, this will, of course, only increase the amount of disk usage your device is experiencing. However, it will be worth it if it eventually eliminates that malicious software that causes your usage to spike. Four, turn off your antivirus software. If the previous fix didn't work for you, then let's go for the complete opposite. Some people are unaware that certain antivirus software can take up a lot of unnecessary disk space, especially if you're not using your device in a way that would lead to viruses. With this in mind, it may be worth temporarily turning off your antivirus software to see if that improves your disk usage. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're using your PC to browse the internet. However, if you're performing offline-only tasks, this could prove a good fix. It would also be useful to look around at various other antivirus software packages that may require less disk space. Five, change application settings. Now, certain applications your device may have often use different amounts of disk space, with some using more than their fair share. A prime example of this is the world's most used internet browser, Google Chrome. Chrome users have often noticed a drop in performance even when Chrome isn't being used. There are a couple of ways to potentially resolve this. Start by heading into Chrome settings and click Privacy and Security. Under the Cookies and Other Site Data section, uncheck Preload Pages for faster browsing and searching. This should hopefully reduce the disk usage that Chrome requires. It's also worth closing Chrome through your task manager, as this will completely free up all disk space that Chrome is using. Six, run check disk. I think it's time that we get a little bit more technical. A check disk can help show you if there are any physical problems with your hard drive. Usually, a high disk usage indicates that there is an application or logical issue driving up disk usage, but it is worth your time checking for any physical damage. The way you do this is by pressing your Windows key on your keyboard to open the Start menu and type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt, click Run as Administrator, and log in. When Command Prompt launches, type in the following. CHK DSK C colon forward slash F forward slash R forward slash X. This will check the integrity of your hard drive and fix various file system errors. Seven, disable Windows Search. A known bug in Windows 10 can cause what's known as a search loop that can easily cause your high disk usage. 
Temporarily stopping your Windows search facility can help you see an improvement in your disk usage. You do this by opening your device's command prompt. If you skipped my previous solution, then you do this by opening your start menu and type CMD, right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Once you've done this and it opens up, enter the command net.exe. Stop. Windows search. This will stop Windows search from running until the next time Windows is restarted. If it turns out Windows Search is responsible for your 100% disk usage, then you can disable it permanently by following these steps. First, pressing the Windows key and R together, type in services.msc and hit enter. The services window will open. Select the Windows Search entry and double click it to update its properties. Select disable under startup type and then OK to save your changes. This will permanently disable Windows Search and should solve your problems. 8. Stop the Superfetch service. Another Windows 10 feature that can cause problems is the Windows Superfetch service. You can disable this temporarily in a very similar fashion to Windows Search from the previous fix. And again, if you skip the previous fixes, you do this by opening your Start menu and type CMD, right click on the command prompt, and run as administrator. Then you type in the command net.exe, stop superfetch. This will once again disable it until your Windows next restarts. Much like with Windows Search before, this can be disabled permanently if the problem keeps happening. You do this by first pressing the Windows key and R together. Type in services.msc and hit enter. The services window will open. Select the Superfetch service and double click it to update its properties. Select Disable under Startup Type and then OK to save your changes. This will permanently disable Superfetch service and should solve your problems. 9. Change energy options. Now, quite often, especially for those on a laptop, you'll be running your device in some kind of energy saving mode or low performance mode. This basically means you're not allowing your device to work at its highest potential, meaning its disk usage will fill up much quicker. In order to change this, you need to head to your device's power options, select Change Plan Settings, followed by Change Advanced Power Settings. Once this is opened, select the High Performance option from the drop-down box and make sure all plan settings are set to their defaults. This will allow your device to run at a higher power setting and should allow your disk to run at a higher performance. 10. Reset virtual memory. We've now reached our final solution. If all else has failed, then truly hope this does work for you. Virtual memory treats your disk as if it is RAM and uses it to swap out temporary files when it runs out of actual RAM. Resetting virtual memory should allow your device to start from zero again. The way you do this is by heading into your computer's system properties, which can be found in your device's settings in the About section. Select Advanced System Settings from the right, then click under the Performance section, Settings. Head to the Advanced tab and click the Change button. Make sure the box titled Automatically Manage Paging File Size is checked. Press OK and then Reboot. This will inhibit the use of virtual memory and may improve your system's disk performance. So that's it from me today. I do hope one of these methods have helped reduce your disk usage. If not, then please do let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to point you in the right direction. Be sure to subscribe for more stellar content and we'll see you next time.